Hey everybody, welcome to the Bad Comedy Podcast. My name is Gaston Glock Jr. and I'm here with Dylan Internet, number one influencer. A.K.A. Norm McDonald Trump. And I wonder why the Barney. But you sound you sound like Donald Trump. You don't sound like me. Oh my god. Am I not norm enough for you folks? I'm I'm more norm and I'm not even good at it. <laughs> See, this is the new norm. What does that make me old? I hope not. I certainly hope not. When I was early in comedy, people thought I was kind of like copying Norm's essence, and I had mm-hmm. never seen Norm stand up. Well, back in the day, I thought maybe he could stand up. Now he's six feet under. Yeah, I think it turns. It's out, really uh, sad. I think it turns out that people can just have similar styles of humor. You know, it, absolutely like, a lot of copycats. Yeah, a lot of a lot of copy rats. A lot of rats in politics. Cats. Oh, yeah. We got to drain the swamp. We got to get Shrek the heck out of here. And I tell you, I feel like I don't even have a donkey. Yeah. I can't be Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Oh, folks. <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash bad comedy. Um, we have 3,000 episodes almost there. Just check it out. Um, if you join that, then you become a part of an army of baddies that is becoming huge. We're going to deport Stephen Hofstetter. It's it's a really big thing, so check that out. I wish he had kids just so I could put them in a cage. Yeah. Oh. Kids I, in... I remember I had a great joke earlier on in my career. It was, kids in cages? What's up with that? Yeah, what's the deal with that, honestly? Yeah. You know, it turns out that kids in cages started under Obama. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me to yeah. learn that. Yeah, it's like <laughs> turn drones, kids in cages... Seems like a good guy. No, I'd say drone strikes and three strikes are out. No, I say no, Obama. <laughs> no, Obama. Thanks, Obama, for nothing. Yeah, I want. Uh, we could have had a cooler black president. You know, like we, like uh, Snoop Dogg. Pretty much any black guy. Even we could have had Snoop Dogg and Willie Nelson as vice president. Now that's the ticket, and you voted for Willie. Is that correct? Well, I, I, I did last time. You wrote him in Barry. Oh. Patriotic of you to write somebody in. Well, the problem is, so in 20, 2016, I voted Donald Trump as a bit to uh, anger my whole fa- like my family, mm-hmm. and it worked. And they you, hate. They were so mad at me. See, that's a tactic. If you're a cool guy, yeah, yeah, then you can be the rebellion. So yeah, so I I went in. I waited in line, and then. I asked the black pollster for the Republican thing, and then they, were, they gave me a, a look like, fucking white racist. I was like, okay. And then I went, uh-huh. voted for Donald Trump um, as, as a bit. They gave you a look, and you're like, that's not a gangster. Yeah, it was a bit, and then I told my whole family I voted for Donald Trump. As a joke, um, they didn't think it was funny. Well, they have no sense of humor, your family. They don't understand. It doesn't matter in Illinois. So how did... You get the sense of humor when your family's so unfunny. Did you get molested? Uh, didn't get molested. No, I. Uh, I think I got the sense of humor because. Well, no, my, my, my. He got molested, folks. He got molested. My uncle's really funny. Uh, my my mom's uh brother, and so I think that side of the family has uh the comedy gene. I think I got it. Because my the rest of my family got the better looks. They're hotter than me. Like my family's really hot, mm-hmm. and when I was fat, I was like fatter and less hot than I am now. I'm hotter now. If I was like clean shaven, I'd be super hot right now. You are clean shaven, little thinner. Yeah, I swear I'd be looking at the sun when I'm looking at your mom. I think I'm looking at the sun. She's old as fuck. She's like my mom's like the sun is old. My mom's like 150 years old. Well, she looks about. I don't know, maybe 20, 25? Yeah. Oh, should we do like a late night? Uh, like It's a little hey, old for me, to be honest. If you want to buy a uh, one-of-a-kind Donald Trump coin. These are great coins. Great the, coins. This is the currency for when um, when the... Hell the, breaks loose. When the illegal immigrants win the vote. So, so some what's, people have a coin what, shortage, a coin collection. What's going to happen if Kamala wins and then it turns out she won because of illegal immigrant votes? It, well, I'd say that probably well, that should be overturned. Then, <laughs> probably a world war. <laughs> or, sorry, like a civil war. Now, I wouldn't want to incite that, but 
Never. The no. people probably won't be happy. I'm not inciting that. All I'm, all I'm, I'm. Uh, Are you exciting that? No, not at all. What, what I, I'm, uh, I'm hypothesizing. I remember when they attacked the Capitol, and I said, "You guys need to go home." They didn't even attack. They just kind of like walked around. Like it's a couple people like fucked up Nancy Pelosi's mm-hmm. office, which they should. She can just get a new office with all the money she's gotten in stock. Right? They're probably just trying to buy the new hot stock. Yeah. Looking at her files. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, she's <laughs> she's so good at the market at timing the market. Mm-hmm. It, it seems like she she's she always sells. Stock right before the DOJ uh, goes after them. No, they say you can't time the market. I say nasty Nancy. Yeah, now she could time the market. You know her portfolio is better than Warren Buffett's. Literally, <laughs> I swear to God, it performs better than Warren Buffett's. Now, if that doesn't incite violence, I don't know what could. Yeah, she's a Warren puppet. She's a warring puppet. She likes to go in a war. She's the wolf of Sesame Street. <laughs> also, how does Mitch McConnell keep getting elected? That he looks like a turtle. He is a turtle, like, and it's not a cool turtle, like Franklin. Where's he? Cool where's he from? I want to see where Mitch McConnell's from. I believe he's from his own shell, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's where Michelle comes from. Uh, yeah. Well, apparently, I've heard <laughs> I've heard shell. things that it's Michael Obama, Big Mike. That Michelle, uh, you see, she's pretty muscular, and that's why no one gives respect to Melania. She's a Wait, what, Hot first lady. What was that look? Oh, Mitch McConnell. And there needs to be more pornography of Melania. Well, no. Melania. What we need, me and you were kind of uh, chatting this up. We in in uh, Congress in the cabinet. We need hot Republican uh, women that are um, uh, minorities. So we need beautiful Hispanic and Black r- Republicans. Absolutely. To, diversity. To be, diversity sexiness um to be in trump's cabinet to be in congress so kim klasik mm-hmm. we need her out of baltimore area she's oh, for kim. yeah we need um so a different hot latina to take aoc's place who's republican because mm-hmm. spice of life or aoc could flip red maybe even though she's like a complete communist maybe we could flip her yeah. you know what i'm saying i don't think it should be a cabinet i think it should be more like my bedroom Oh, weird. He's Kentucky. Because Kentucky has... Uh, Kentucky... He's 82. Wow. Uh, no, he's right on the brink of death. Well, Kentucky has like two of the most uh, like honest people in Congress. Uh, Rand Paul and Thomas, and Thomas Massey. Massey's that one guy I was showing you? The budget. He's very concerned about it. So is Rand. So is Rand Paul. They're both Kentucky guys. But 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 this guy's like the worst, so they they try to cut, like counteract him. Mm-hmm. But he he's got to go. He's a turtle. Hold on, let me show the people this turtle that I'm looking at. No, you know, I mean, the left tries to put anybody out there. I say I think that they should at least be a human being. You can have ninja turtles running around, and you guys, hold on, turtles coming. They can barely run. But you're talking about what was her name, Kim? Kim Klasik. Kim Klasik. And so nobody uh, calls her Big Kim. Sorry. Like Big Mike. I wasn't able to pull it up. But we need a little Kim. You got you guys know what uh Mitch McConnell looks like. He look he's like a dying turtle and he's he's a he's a part of the I mean I like I'm not I'm an independent. I'm not a Republican mm. or a Democrat, but he's the bad type of Republican. No, and he's got a is it a gowl? He's uh, oh, he's got a uh, like the turkey. He's got a uh, jowls. Yeah, it's a jowl. Or uh, they say mine uh, looks like a vagina. At least it's a vagina. <laughs> a vagowl. <laughs> yes, uh, a vagowl. I call him. Okay, I need to be able to pull him <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> McConnell's got a man jowl. Now, if we could hold on, <laughs> I'll have man jowl trending. Elon now, Elon Musk. You, you know of Elon? I know, Elon, I know I'm Elon. A big fan. I like Elon. I love Elon Musk. He's kind of like the chart. I love my chart. It saved right. my life. All right, folks. We got Mitch McConnell, this this old guy who's tr- always trying to go to war and stuff. And and for me, 
they have that book called War and Peace that I wrote, but he doesn't great 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 book. Yeah, if you listen to our the, our history podcast, The Wrong Side of History, you'll hear about how I wrote the book War and Peace. Mm-hmm. Um, but okay, about peace and peace. okay, this is the guy that we should have. Yeah, so I feel like okay. What I, are we looking? You're at? telling me this is not a turtle. Oh, it, it looks like. Is this guy? Does this guy not look like Dana Carvey? Shooter. Does he not look like Dana Carvey from uh, uh, what is it looks called? Like Dana Carvey from Matt, Shut for, Up a No, from cool. Master of Disguise, where he's like, "Am mm-hmm. I not turtly enough for the Turtle Club?" And this guy's a little too turtle. Turtly. Turtle. <laughs> he's too turtly for the Turtle Club. He's too turtly. You know what? We want more. We want more Thomas Massey. That's who he we want. My assy, I call him. We, Tom my assy. We like this guy. He looks like a dweeb, but he's I a I love dweeb. him. Yo, he built this house on his own with wood from the woods. <laughs> now if a woodchuck could chuck. And then stone from the <laughs> riverbeds. He he built this on his own. It's amazing. Look at it's this. a damn Look miracle. At and then it's also the it's woodwork. All, it's all self sufficient too. This is like you showed me your Back deck and you yeah. epoxied it all. I'm pretty much Thomas Massey. Thomas Maxey, pretty much. You're Thomas Maxey and we love Thomas Maxey. Yeah, so this guy's cool. He's like the cool nerd in a movie. So if you guys want to know the good Republicans, you have him and Rand Paul, both from um, Kentucky, weirdly. And so is Mitch McConnell. So we got to get Mitch McConnell out of there. No, this. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what is this from? He's wearing a bathrobe. Looks like a Democrat. Oh, it's an AI fake. No, he's like, I'm a terrorist. Mm. I'm terrorist Ron Paul. No, but he's the son of Ron Paul. Do you know who Ron Paul is? I know Ron Paul very well. He's like the founder, really, of the modern libertarian movement. And libertarians. RFK Jr., you know, they say they want him to get shot on the left, they say. Yeah. And they want me to get shot, but. Yeah. I like presidents who don't get shot. Me too. Or don't, 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 don't die from getting shot. And I feel like. I like uh, how I'll many like, presidents have we had? You know, I, I, I like too presi- many. I like presidents that get shot, but I don't like presidents that uh, get shot and die. And that's cowardice. And I think, you know what I say? No president who, should be dying. Who did that? Who got shot and died? Uh, Aber, Abe, Lincoln, a, Aber Turkey, Lincoln. Rest in power. Aber, Abraham Talent. And then I think uh, Grover Cleveland, maybe? or Maybe. So one and a half. Or Arthur. Something. And I just think it's too many. I say the president is supposed to be alive. Yeah. Well, and he, not a turtle. It's, you know, it's kind of crazy. They're like... Uh, We'll we'll, uh, we'll try to kill Trump twice. That's what they said, and then they're like, "We'll we'll do like tw- eighty lawsuits against him while he's, while he's running," and then he just keeps going. It's been good for my rap career. I'll be honest with you about it. Who shot me? But your That's punks fine. couldn't finish. Who shot me? Now yes. you're about to feel the wrath of a menace. Well, speaking of who shot me, um, I've heard leaks from the whole Diddy Diddy thing. Oh my gosh. And that, the Puff Daddy, as they called him, but now he's Diddy. Well, yeah, because he was puffing on mm-hmm. puffing on penises. And they wonder, did he do it? And I think, what didn't he do? They should did, probably yeah. call him didn't. But, uh, <laughs> P, what didn't he do? They should call him didn't he? P, didn't he? he what did. didn't he do, folks? They, they should call him P, didn't he? He did. <laughs> they say there's no such party as a P, didn't he party. <laughs> I was never there. I Ain't nobody but a P. Did anybody? When P. Diddy had his birthday on St. James Island, I had to miss it. I was not worried about missing it. I knew what happened there. So, uh, wait. So you know the all the flight logs for Epstein? Absolutely, a lot of Clintons on that flight log. Uh, what? What? what is, uh, is anybody in like looking at that? Any of that? I think that you might get. <laughs> <laughs> you might get self canceled if you look into that, but uh, yeah, I'm all just, I know I'm, is it looked like. I'm just wondering, what, like, why is the the government not looking into all those names, like like Bill Clinton, like 30 times? Flying? Well, I feel like yeah, it looked like it was Bill's private jet just went to Epstein Island. Pretty much, that's what it seemed like the well, Lolita I, Express. They called it. I, the Lolita I think he was. He, he probably flew on that 
Jet more than Epstein himself. He Bill, was probably just Bill and a lot Bill of Ep- young Bill women. Epstein. You know, you know his real name before he changed it. Mm-hmm. Bill Clintonstein. Now, see, that might be an indication of something, and maybe yeah. we should have Jamie look into that or fact check. We'll have that. Jamie. To, we'll have him look into it tomorrow. Jamie, get back to us tomorrow. And you can't trust Snopes anymore. We all know that. We go to Nopes. We go to Nopes.com. Yep. We we made an algorithm where it's the opposite of whatever Snopes says. So Snopes will say, it's like, uh, did, did Trump uh, make? Did Trump start January sixth? Mm-hmm. And then uh, Snopes will be like, yes, he incited it. But we we know it's not true. We know there were FBI plants. Blah blah blah. And that they delayed the uh, National Guard. We know so, this is fact. So on Nopes, it's the opposite. So it's like, no, Trump didn't at all. He actually uh, he deployed the National Guard two days prior to do it. And then it got slowed down by people that were against Trump so that people would break in and then tarnish Trump's whole thing. They tried to assassinate me. They tried to assassinate my character, which I think might even be worse. I'm not sure, really. Yeah. But it's all bad, folks, and I is say it, it's all bad. I would say probably getting assassinated is worse. It might be worse for my campaign. I think if I got shot... I guess sh- we'll see. Yeah. Um, I think if I get shot, it would be called an assassination, because when you great, it's not murder. It's assassinate. And we want to make America great, don't we? So assassinate me, bitch, because I'm doing the same shit Martin Luther King did. And now he might be bringing it on himself. I've heard I, I've heard black guys compare Trump to Martin Luther King a lot on X. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm a big fan. And, and a lot of you guys out there are probably like, Mac, you're completely red-pilled or blah, blah, blah. No, I listen to Rachel Mancow also. I also look at Al Jazeera to get it so I can look at the Middle East point of view. And then I look at Fox News. And then I go to X and see what's left out of all of that. And you see... Leftovers, and you know what to trust. And yeah, you go to well, I see, I see what the left is hiding, and the the right is normally correct. It turns out they're hiding a lot of facts, a lot of truth. Yeah, and that's the real truth. That is the truth. And they call me modern day Martin Luther King, mm-hmm. and I think that's because I'm the king. Yeah, I'm a black guy on X. Hey, Trump, the new Martin Luther King. And I'm saying he got assassinated. and Yeah. That's by the FBI. And that might be fiction. Ah, weird. Weird. The FBI keeps assassinating people trying to make uh, change for the better. No, it it's strange, but stranger than fiction. It's real. They tried to kill me. They tried to take me out. They're, I they, turned my head. I looked at my chart. Fiction is not that strange. It's not as strange as because we know it's fiction. I hate that. I hate the stranger than fiction. That whole that 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 movie with Will Ferrell. Um, it's be so, funny or be funny. Yeah, I mean he's got funny movies. I'm not gonna lie about that. I love Will Ferrell. Um, but he was in Stranger Than Fiction, and I think the whole thing term stranger than fiction doesn't make sense yeah it's not funnier than fiction we already know if it's fiction it's gonna be strange and then saying facts are stranger than fiction like obviously like a real thing if something fucked up happens is gonna be crazier than a fake completely fake thing yeah and we don't like strangers stranger danger yeah i hate these dumb sayings like it takes one to know one no it doesn't Nope, you can know one. It doesn't like take a it doesn't take a person with with downs to know that someone else has downs. And I knew, and that and that crooks, he looked like he had downs. Yeah. And then they, they took him down. Mm-hmm. And people, so he looked retarded. There's a, there's a lot going on in the Middle East, and I want to talk about this. I I donated money to uh, to Israel and to Iran because I I I want, I want to help out everyone. You're a very generous guy. You every, help the Taliban. Every year, Al-Qaeda. every year, I donate a million to Hezbollah and Israel. Hezbollah, you mean the cute little guy? Isn't he so cute? Yeah, little, the little baby. He's a little baby, looking full grown man. Right, right. So I donate a million to each side and to help them out. And that's the thing—you need both sides of the wings, folks. You need the 
left wing, but you really need the right wing. Yeah, or else how do you fly? You can't fly with you one wing. Fly. You really can't. You end up in a if tower. You, you go in a circle. If you fly with one wing, you're going to go in a circle. And you that's that's foolish. why that's why we can't have a one-party system, folks, because if you just have one wing, you're going to fly. This is physics. You fly in a circle. Go go look go look up uh, Terrence Howard talking about physics on Rogan. Mm-hmm. Find me a bird with three wings. Good luck. Yeah, the ha- one wing. Have you listened to the Terrence Howard talking about physics? He, mm. he, he actually they had a follow-up. Howard Terrence. They had a follow up one where he was on there with like a uh, with Wein- Weinstein, one of the Weinstein. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, because there's there's Brett Weinstein who I like a lot, mm-hmm. and then there's his brother, the other one. Who's Eric? I love Eric. Is it Eric Weinstein? Love Eric Weinstein. Yeah, cause, uh, I like. They're Brett. both geniuses. Well, Brett's like biology, and then Eric is like physics and mathematics. Yeah, he's more of a math guy. I like Brett more Maths. though. I like Brett a little more mm-hmm. because uh, Eric is kind of like a. He's a little more of a dick, it seems like. And you know Brett fucks. He definitely yeah, fucks he, more. He fucks his wife a lot. Yeah, he fucks his wife. They talk about science. Yeah. And mm-hmm. He's like, he's like, he's I like, I, about that. he's like, I love my, uh, what, what's like a really scientific word for a penis? I would say, uh, for me, it'd probably be something rocketry related. I, I, I love big rock. I love my, uh, male reproductive organ. Or he's, he's my like, phallus, he, he, I guess. A he's, phallus. Like, he's like, I love my re- reproductive organs and, and your pussy. <laughs> he kind of has a, uh, Every once in a while, I catch him with a speech impediment a little bit. Mm. He has kind of like a thing. Well, she must have a kink for that. I say I have a hot female Republican. He's like, he's like, yeah, I'm Brett Weinstein. <laughs> That's got to be embarrassing, I tell you. Yeah, but he's all part of that big, uh, the big coalition of people that are surrounding with Trump, like uh, like Elon and uh, Tulsi Gabbard and all of them. It's a cool army. And uh, Jordan Peterson, too. Absolutely, we got the Can- we got the Canadians coming in there. So we got we got biologists, we got philosophers, we got we've gen- we've got geniuses, uh, we got uh, really good uh, Democratic politician Tulsi Gabbard, a veteran. Then we got we got we got them all hot Republican women. And then uh, Kamala picked up some good people, Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> now that is comedy. I didn't know. Kamala's a comedian. It is very funny that she brags about getting Dick Cheney as a because it, she got some big names. Literally the the left made a movie. I'm surprised he didn't shoot me. That the, they Hollywood made a movie talking shit like like making fun of Dick Cheney. Yeah, well, you know he's a total for, for embarrassment being, to for her being a to, and, for being a complete war hawk and like a terrible guy, and then he. <laughs> <laughs> and then he puts no his wonder weight. his daughter's a lesbian. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this guy is just an embarrassment. Uh, it's a, he caused nine yeah, eleven. I think he might have been in the planes. Well, he 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 was. He you think he was in the planes? No, he's way. They too They call him Dick Planey. He, he was way too fat. Remember, he went hunting with a guy and just shot him. He shot his own friend. I say, why didn't he shoot me? I'm right here. <laughs> but I've been shot twice. <laughs> I've been shot twice. They can't punk me. <laughs> Get punked. I feel like Ashton Kutcher is going to shoot me soon. Yeah. Ashton Kutcher, he's my fraternity brother. Delta Chi. True. And so you go way back with him, and he was assaulting minors then. He was Delta Chi to Iowa. No, he wasn't. Uh, he, was a, he was an assault minor, but he wasn't assaulting minors. A lot of hot guys at Iowa, they say. A lot of hot guys. I'm talking oh, about no, the birds. No, no, you're 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 being gay. Don't you? don't get excited, fellas. No, you're being gay. No, I got a hot wife, and no <laughs> one talks about it. My ex-wife, dude, she's still sending, that bitch. She's still sending me letters. She's, she's she's saying she's saying the L money wasn't enough. I I gave her half. Okay. And they say they want more. They want at least three fifths. These women, except for the <laughs> offshore accounts. <laughs> <laughs> so that. It is hilarious. I mean, she didn't make any of it. No, they don't earn anything. They just want to take, 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 take that. They're like, they're like Brian Crow. Peck, 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 peck. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, try, take, take, take. Yeah. Literally get all your money. Brian Crow, he walked the Red Sea. This guy. Yeah, he. Brian Crow walked in front of Moses. Walked the Red Sea. 
It's embarrassing. It's he's the Dick Cheney of Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I think he shot a guy. I'm pretty sure. I don't think he has the the balls. Well, he'd be a sniper if he did. Yeah, I want to have the meta. <laughs> I want to have meta back on the podcast. Meta, if you're if you're listening, I think you are. I want you back on the podcast because I want I want that assault rifle I'm back on the podcast. No, it's so cool. This guy he shows up. He's got an assault rifle, and mm. I feel like I don't even have a pepper rifle. I can use one of those. <laughs> I, have, I have a nepper rifle. <laughs> you do have a nepper rifle. Yeah, it's called my dick. <laughs> so that's a scientific term for his penis. Yeah, whenever I have my rifle, I go, this is my rifle, this is my g- gun, mm-hmm. this is for fight, and this is for fun. <laughs> and what about flight? I feel like I could use some of these. I'm glad you have American sword here. Yeah, I have my American sword. I got a laser on my gun, folks. Mm-hmm. I stay laser focused. So you could shoot somebody from wherever you wanted Right out your window. Oh, yeah. Only you put the security on there just oh, in case. Only self defense, of course. I mean, there'd be no reason to go on offense. And I say, why why are we defending these other countries? We should have self defense. Yeah. The, well, the, the cool thing about America, at least the South or the country, is that every home is a fort, is a fortified fort. Not necessarily Chris forti- Ford. Not necessarily fortified. Shout out Chris Ford. I love that guy. Very uh, cool. Very cool. Chubby, chubby, charming black guy. S- Stephen Black might call him a little bit old. He might say he's a little old. Stephen Black might be a wigger a little bit. <laughs> and he might be, folks. And I, I wear a wig. And I don't yeah. know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes Dylan wears a wig. But the culture might accept me anyway. <laughs> but Chris Ford, this guy is so old and cool, I would say. Oh, yeah. And black, mm-hmm. and he's not a and then I fo- W. I followed him on. Uh, well, I followed Chris on the show, and I did a joke about how I normally wear blackface on stage, and I'm just like Chris Fort. And then, and then, uh, you could hear him laughing in the he background. He probably loved it. You were. <laughs> he's got a little, bit, a little uh, Kermit. A little bit of a Kermit, laughing. but but the, the Kermit voice uh, also kind of can kind of go for like fatter. Fatter black guys too, like Biggie kind of had like it's just like a deeper Kermit. Sure, absolutely. It's, like, it's, it's like, sad what happened to him. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm Kermit. How's it going? Hey, hey, I'm Chris Fort. Hey, I'm Kermit. And he might start rapping at any moment. You never know. Yeah. With these guys, mm-hmm. those people, as I call them, what about I don't mind. Tracy Chapman, what she got? Chap lips. Tracy Chap lips. Yeah, maybe somebody should get her. Some- some chapstick. Yeah. I remember we were buying, buying bird's bees because my, my lips are so chapped. She says it's so expensive. I think it's not that expensive. She was like, in hidey house, inflation has gone up. How do I get some chapstick for my lips? She's so nasty, she might need chapstick on both lips. A lot of, a lot of nasty reporters out there. It's nasty out there, folks. Yeah, and we're not talking about little Kim nasty. We're talking. We're not talking about like like hot and sexy. We're talking about mean. We're talking about little Kim, yeah. Jong Un, maybe. Yeah, little Kim is. She's nasty. She was nasty. She's cool, nasty. It's like the nasty show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dumbass, as they say. Dumbass. Yeah. Then, uh, Tenny Thickums. Hey, uh, I'm looking for that booking. Now let's get that booking. You never know. Mac might get murks. Remember like two uh, falls ago? <laughs> it was a long time ago. It's unacceptable. Remember the autumn before <laughs> You're supposed to rebook Mac. You never yeah. got booked again. Anybody who says autumn ought to, ought to automatically get uh, murked. Ought to, ought to unalive themselves. My favorite season is autumn. I say that's not a season. <clears throat> I saw something today. It said it's giving season. I said it's giving season. It's not a- no, it's Adam and capitalism. Eve. It's Autumn and Stephen Hofstetter. And what if it was Adam and Steve? It is, probably. And Eve was a cuck. Adam and Pete Buttigieg. What kind of a name is Eve? Eve. It's kind of a hot name. I remember there was that rapper named Eve. You remember that? Eve was a rapper. Rest in power, I believe. I don't Eve. really know. Eve rapper. She Let's had see song. how Eve is doing. Eve. Well, what was her song? And there are a lot of, you know, back in the day, music. That was when I used to have the boombox at the skate park. 
Night of the Walkman. And would I be at the skate park? I don't know. Four wheels. Plenty. But you have Sleepy Joe. I don't think he could balance on four wheels. He's so sleepy. He's so asleep, I say he's going to be dead soon. Oh, this is the song. So let so me blow you your mind. All right, I'm going to cut to that song. We're going to New cut. feature here. All right. Uh, featuring, this is, oh, wait, no, we're going to get copy. We're, we're going to get copyright struck. We'll do it for. They try to take us down any way they can. I'm just going to look at you the. You can't even play some uh, Eve I'll, anymore. I'll look at the lyrics and then I'll sing it. I don't even think it was Adam. I think it was just Eve. God is a woman. It was uh, drop your drop your glasses, shake your asses, face screwed up mm-hmm. like you're having hot flashes. And the song was uh, keep going. This is a no. I had to give you more. It's only been a year. Now I got through the door, and I ain't going no. So this is a Mac original now. Yeah. So that's by me. Um, <clears throat> and Taylor Taylor Swift taught us that. Well, this one doesn't. She's ha- good for something. This one doesn't have copyright. <laughs> All you have to do is just re-record your um, uh, classics. I guess they would say classics. All right, guys. So this one. But you should see Beyonce. Anna, would you I'm like to like ask me finish. questions and then let me answer them, or would you like to debate me on these topics? This is I so high. We're had obsessed Kamala with Harris this. And Tim Waltz, you it's, gave them multiple amazing. choice answers to the questions that you asked, and you allowed them you to answer the questions. The form. I'm happy to be here to talk about policy, but if you're going to interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, yeah, then why am I even doing this? Them. So please ask a you question, and I ask you to be polite you enough. Yes, yes, I, I. And I'd like to ask the Vice President, what has she done to question my loyalty to this country? I served in the United States Marine Corps. I went to Iraq for this country. I built a business for this country. And my running mate took a bullet for this country. That's me. So my question to Kamala is, what the hell have you done to question our loyalty to the United States of America? So he just took credit for being a shot in the That's my guy. Oh, shit. That's my song. It's really cool. All right, guys. So <clears throat> if anybody knows how to find that song from that video I just played, uh, let me know because I've been I've been looking for it. So Max has been watching that video a lot. You said that you've been watching it every night. I said it. Cuddle it. You I, I, watched, it. I watched it several times in a row. Video. Now, and we also, don't need to know numbers, but... He's sleeping with that video, folks. He wants the song so bad. Oh, That's a haunting. It reminds me of Middle Earth. Uh, uh, speaking of Mill Miller, Miller Light has never done <laughs> anything wrong. That's only Bud Light is bad. Bush Light gets the pass. So Bush, now what do you think about? E- even though Bud, the W. Even though Bud uh, is part of Anheuser Bush, along with that, mm-hmm. Bud was the uh, one was like. We love trans people. Then Kid Rock shot the, the, the Bud cans. Kid Rock, I think he rocks. And, th- and then Bud Light uh, changed their mind to not be woke, and they signed a contract with the UFC. <laughs> and they're great guys. I love the UFC. But but Bud, Dana, L- but Bud Light. White. Bud Light, I never liked. Um, I, I always liked Miller Light because those are the similar caliber beers. Bud Light and Miller Light. Then you go like Bush Light and then like... Uh, PBR, that level. Now, Bush, it's, the it's, W, it's, they say the W is a bad letter. It's, about, it's just W. But it, K, I think, is the worst letter. You can tell the difference between... Because um, if you can buy it in a 30-pack, then it's normally the level below. You buy Miller and Bud in 24-packs. So the more that you can get, the less value. The more There's you, only one the, the more the, the more you can get... The less quality, I would say, of the product. So it's a lower quality. But I, I like Bush Light. I'll drink Bush Light all night. Uh, Bud Light, though. Kamala has a lot of Bush. Yeah, probably. And it's not high quality. It's it's Indian Bush because she's apparently, according to Candace Owens, not African-American. 
It's a big conspiracy. It's a real problem. Well, she called her uncle. She, <sighs> well, uh, yeah, uh, I guess Kamala's not black. It's a messy situation. Yeah. It's just, if anybody has proof that Kamala's black, please send it uh, in the comments. You know what no one's saying about me? Hmm. That I'm not black. Well, I mean, the black people love you, Dom. They love me. I have the entire black vote. It's one combined vote. Yeah. I see them as one group of people. Yeah. You people. And we the people. Yeah. There's a lot of black Republicans on my X page. And <laughs> I have a black Republican fetish, I admit. <laughs> Melania knows about it. She can't stop it. Donald Trump is probably the least racist presidential candidate. Joe I Bi was the best president for blacks. Joe Even better than Lincoln. I didn't get killed. Joe Biden's crime bill, um, along with him calling them super predators. Uh, Kamala Harris put everyone, put so many black people in jail. She uh, let a black guy get a death penalty, I think. Like, when there was, she refused to look at extra stuff. She's lazy. She's a lazy criminal. She's in Joe says you're not black if you don't vote for him. I say that's not true. Yeah. I think that, that means that you are black. I think he's scared of black people because Corn Pop, though, his old bully. Now, Corn Pop, it's a cool name. Yeah. Fruit Loop. He's a, he's a Fruit Loop. He's a Fruit Loop politician. How many years does he have left? Big Kellogg owns him. That's another big K. I don't like the Ks. Jimmy Carter is still alive. They, they, I saw a video of him uh, on his it's his hundredth birthday, and <laughs> they rolled him out, and he's just like this, like it's sad, it's a mess. You got to let him go. He's in hospice. <laughs> if you love him, let him go. Yeah. Um, all you uh, abortion people, uh, maybe you should abort Jimmy Carter at this point. Jimmy Crack Gordon, I don't care. Does he still get Secret Service? I don't think he needs it. I think you just yeah. tell him he has it. He'll be okay. I think that's where we can uh, cut spending, Elon. So it's one of the uh, one of the spots where the budget, the the budget auditors like Elon and his pals, they can stop giving Jimmy Carter Secret Service. Maximum, I say, you give him one guy and swap him out. He's a temp. Give him like a like a Paul Blart, or just tell him to shove it. Tell him to tell him to shut up. Tell him to do it for this country. Yeah. Say, do, do not what you can do for your country. Do what your country can do for you. He's a communist. Yeah. I Say, always call him Jimmy Kami. This is what Kamala, Kamala always says. She says, do, do not. Uh, Kami. She love. says, do not help your country. Let your country rule. Let or, it burn. Uh, let your country rule over you while you're in poverty is her main thing. And, I, and I, was like, I was like, that's not nearly as good as these other speeches these people gave. Like, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. Or like, uh, I think it was Nixon, maybe. He was like, the great and silent majority, you know. No, she's not good at the words. She has the worst words. She needs a lot of black friends, a lot of help. Yeah. And, and she has and, and if she gets that full call out by Candace, then she's going to lose all the black friends. And it's really, if I was her, I'd be worried. Yeah. And then along with losing the black friends, she's going to lose uh, white supporters, like my, like the the rich white people who are like, we love black people. Whites that are tapped in. I but they've never met a black person, you know? No, but they still, they look at the street cred and they say, the, well, I think these people are cool. I'm going to vote this way. I, I love black people and nobody can deny the street cred of black people. I love black people. They do remind me to lock my doors. Yeah. But I love them, and they love me. Yeah. I think I mean, if you know, Abe didn't get shot, he might be the best president for blacks, but yeah, he did, and he couldn't handle it. Yeah. Sorry, Abe. Honest Abe, honestly. I, I, like, I, I like presidents that don't die when they get shot. I do, too, and I feel like that's why I'm going to have... I'm really excited about next year. I'm taking back over. What are you going to do? I'm going to become Martin Luther King Senior Senior. What are you going to do about that chart? I'm putting the chart up in the Oval Office. Yeah? It's going to be framed forever. And so, I can always so turn and look at it. The chart shows the immigration going up. Are you going to maybe make change the chart and then put next to it? Your, so you're going to show the chart of the terrible immigration problem going up. Next to it, are you going to put 
your results after the deportation? I'm going to definitely figure it out as it happens, and I'm going to make the right decision at the time. And Right. Because you can't, I mean, because if you're sleeping with a chart every night, you can't always have it up. And sometimes with the tough questions, you have to answer in a way that's diplomatic and uh, simple. And I'm going to have the right people around me you, you, this but, time. And but um, a lot of people say that um, you're not transparent and you're a Nazi, probably. Like, uh, but but Kamala Harris is she's super honest. Is she's always you know talking about growing up middle class. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I think where was she? I mean, she wasn't at McDonald's, that's for sure. She wasn't in North Carolina either. No, and and where was Kamala during the Holocaust? Nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Donald Trump was there liberating him. You I was were, fighting you were against it. I mean, I, I, I just <laughs> when, I, when I'm when I'm addressing you, I'm gonna say Donald Trump. You know, I know you, I know you like sometimes talking in the third person, so I, I like to do the same as I speak to you if you if that's okay. Absolutely, it makes more sense when you do it than me. But these people, they want sense. I say, how about dollars? Yeah, I like that. Trump bucks. Yeah, I mean, uh, with this inflation. Dollars are turning into cents. Do you and, mind if I plug the coins again? And it's not making much sense to me. It's but, not making any sense. It's These people are lunatics. Well, why don't you show us the new currency that we're bringing out? So this is a early adoption, but you're going to want to get this now because there's only one first generation, but we have the Trump coins, Trump bucks. Is that So is that going to be the new currency? With, it is. We're going to hopefully outlaw. Because the U.S. dollar is probably going to die soon. So it's going to be the new way you buy stuff. Yeah. And the beautiful thing is you can trade dollars for this. And a lot of Democrats aren't going to And this looks like kind of like the gold standard. We'll go back to that. It makes sense. Exactly. And we're going to have the gold standard and no silver. I said, get rid of the silver. If we have silver <laughs> melted down, get rid of it. We only want gold here. So we have the... Trump coins, and <coughs> this is me right after looking to the right at my chart and dodging a bullet. Nobody I can, literally dodge a bullet, folks. I don't know. Yeah, nobody can really see the coin itself, but unless you want me to hold it up. Hold it up. At least show them the bullet whizzing by me. I see. Bing. And I turned my head, and I looked at my trusty chart. I didn't know it saved my life at the time. Joe Biden couldn't even see it. But these are beautiful. They're commemorative, but they're also real currency. And this is financial advice. So I say, folks, buy them now. They're hot. They're just off the kill. Yeah, if you want to be able to purchase things in the future, you're going to want to get a Trump coin collection. And if they don't come with this gold card, it looks very cool. What does it say? It says certificate on it on one side. But more importantly, the other side. What does it say? It's much more important. Well, what does it say? It says authentic, real gold is basically what it says. So mm. I won't read all the, it's, you know, all these lawyers. I think it says 24 over. carats. That's a lot of carats. It's a lot of carats. I feel like a rabbit. Yeah. But I don't go down rabbit holes. I'm not a rabbit. No. No. Like that. Dog Kamala Harris. Yeah, she's. She's a dog. She's, she's a rabbit dog. She's nasty. She's so nasty. I say you should put her on the nasty show, mm -hmm. Tiny. Yeah, yeah. She'd probably book her before me. <laughs> She's so nasty. You should put her on the nasty show. <laughs> tiny Thickums. Shout out to Tiny Thickums. Shout out to Tiny Thickums. Uh, very tiny, very thick. Yeah. She was named Tiny Thickums because when she was born, she was small. She was a baby. They gave her a Z. They knew it'd be cool. I love yeah. letters. Thickums, yeah, Thickums is her last name, which is a very cool last name because the, the, their family throughout time has always had big booties. Mm -hmm. It's big booty. I don't want to say I'll say B words. Yeah, big booty house. But we all. Well, I want for my birthday. What do you do? You like uh, booties or boobies? I like B days. I like big I, I booties. Think, I cannot I, lie. But I think you're a booby guy more. Maybe I'm a big booby guy, but I'm. Very loyal to Melania. Yeah. And yeah. Not that horse Stormy and she's, Daniels. Yeah, she's got... The thing is, about some of the top models, a lot of them don't have huge tits or a huge ass. You know what I want America's next bottom model? I'm the top. I'm the Don. Mm. 
And where are the bottom models? I say, where are they? I need big boobies. Rosie O'Donnell's a bottom. <laughs> She's a bottom feeder. She's definitely eating and feeding. Yeah. They should have, instead of America's top model, they should have like America's like the ugliest people, like the America's bottom models. But it all means is the ugliest people, like Rosie O'Donnell. No, she's uh, hideous, and I hope she gets the help that she needs. Yeah. Because, boy, does she need it. And I need rosy-colored lenses just to look at her. And you got called out by uh, Megan. Uh, I forgot her last name, but she she likes you again now. She's cool. She should the blonde, like The blonde who was on CNN, Megan something. I hope that... Uh, uh, M-E-G-Y-N, but, but she... Megan Kelly. Megan Kelly. Yeah, yeah. She uh, was not a fan of yours. She is now again. No, and I used to like her, and now I don't like her. And she she likes you, me she, again. I still she, don't like she her. She called you out, though. She uh, she said, uh, yeah, you misogynistically call women fat. And uh, and then he said, and then you said, only Rosie O'Donnell. Only Rosie. I, it was, I dropped a bar. Yeah. Huge laugh. She never got a laugh. One time her whole life. Yeah. But you call me a misogynist and I'm wearing an upside down Playboy bunny. And yeah. Yeah. To sh- also symbolize. I and, love women. And also to rest in peace, Hugh Hefner, your old friend. He's rest like, in yeah. Rest in power, I see. Huey, Huey, you would call him, right? Was your, he was your boy. Huge Huey, he had a real piece of this guy. Huge Huey, <laughs> hung like a Huey, I say. Huge Huey, he had the biggest. The, I say the hugest I've ever seen. A huge wiener. You should have seen the parties we. He were had there. a unit. He had, <laughs> he had a, a huge unit. unit. He had the hugest unit. We call That's it, why they call him huge. We call it Tower Eight. <laughs> <laughs> they should I, honestly on 9-11 I thought is there a plane going to his penis it's yeah so I was big. like yeah I was like I was thinking nine one one one. I thought that would be his. <laughs> we call it the third tower <laughs> <laughs> there was tower seven tower eight was his penis <laughs> so so big and rest in power rest they have Napoleon's power. penis in a museum and I say what well, it, Can we dig him up? Can we Hugh, get so can we get huge? Who are the best Hughes? You had Hugh Hefner and then Huey Newton. What did he do? Was he a Black Panther? He might have been black. He might have been a black a Panther. Probably. Huey Lewis in the news. Back when the news was the news. Yeah, now it's fake news. And no one talks about the fake Huey Lewis. I like when you news. I like when you get off the Air Force One and then <laughs> the go to the, over to the fake news to set things straight. It's every time I step off a plane, they say, oh, wow, he can walk. It's crazy. And I say, well, yeah, a president should be able to walk. Yeah. So yeah. He shouldn't trip falling down the stairs. That's the easy part. Biden has toothpick legs, essentially. He's got two toothpicks for legs. And I say, I finish a meal and I say, can I get two of Biden's legs just to <laughs> my teeth? Yeah. Trump, Trump is who would you rather have? Dinner with myself. Uh, yes, that's that's my question. <laughs> no, I would definitely rather eat with myself and pick my brain. Well, for me, teeth. for me, I was thinking like, who else would I want to have dinner with aside from aside from you, Donald Trump? And then I think it's I only want to have dinner with Donald Trump. Well, I would say if I had to make a list, I would say myself. he would be he would be a fun chat. You know, like like like, like talking shit about people. It would be fun. We'd have a good time. Like he would be a great guest on Bad Comedy Podcast as long as we didn't insult him. And I wouldn't go after that guy because, believe me, he can be nasty. Yeah, you you don't want to get punished. But he also he also he also can do some self deprecating stuff. Like he would do like on WWE he did, and like uh, on like some comedy shows he would go on. He would do some like. Absolutely, it's like he's the goat. Yeah, he's not, and he knows when to. And the thing is about him is people get worried because he's a narcissist, so they think that he's gonna be want to be a dictator. But the thing is, he's so much of a narcissist that he feeds off uh, being successful and people loving him. And he knows people don't like a dictator, right? So they don't want a little Kim right. Jong Un. So, so he wants he wants the love of the people because that's what feeds his soul. And so it's nice to be a. Such a narcissist that you become 
likable and it's 100 percent. it's really remarkable well sometimes yeah there's different types of narcissists he's the one that feeds off the the love of the people and it's like he's like a god he says worship me not false idols Mm -hmm. not the fake news not 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 billy idol either no billy idol that guy's gay right he gets no views anymore he gets no ratings no sales billy idol has slow ratings no and it's it's sad what's happened to him. No, we got to wrap up. Let's wrap it up then. The battery's dying. Folks, patreon.com slash bad comedy. Uh, we have an excellent guest coming up Thursday. Huge. Uh, Wednesday, only on patreon.com slash bad comedy. Um, the price is going up, folks. <laughs> Let's um, make a deal. Only for new people. For if you've been around, it stays the same. You're grandfathered in, and this is for Patreon. This is Patreon's code. So they're adding 30% because of iOS purchases for new patrons. And so liberal you, media. Yeah, the literal media agenda is ruining people's lives. And you're looking at me like a blurry guy. I'm not even a blur. I'm a real guy. I, I look like a talking piece of uh, Apple right now. Apple's probably censoring me right now. The big Apple. It's a, does that mean Apple's our New York cities? But on every Patreon, they're adding 30% to the cost side, which means we have to offset it. But all we're going to do is add on about 20% more for new patrons. So tell your friends that have been interested in joining the Patreon to join right now. See, don't, don't just uh, get one patron. Uh, uh Become a patron 10 times. <laughs> I know that's not legal. So you, you get 10 people to become patrons. But you can vote for me 10 times over whatever yeah. you can get away with. Yep. But all, all that means is vote to get 10 people to vote. It's a metaphor. Vote for bad comedy. And then uh, uh, bad boy comedy. And check out uh, at wrong side of history pod if you want the historical side of the truth. A- everything. We got we got one out about time. We got Iran and Persia. We got the American Revolution. We got a lot. Uh, Don, do you have any plugs? I just want to plug one thing. My chart. I love my chart. And um, who who do you think is going to be the next president and vice president? I know I'm about to win a three peat. They say it's a, a three peat, never been done in the NFL. So tell that to your friend. So, so you're thinking you the Kermit. Quarterback, you're thinking you uh, you think Trump Vance for the Vic? I think Donald Trump again, the new Martin Luther King with running mate Pat Mahomes, maybe. Yeah, you're, oh, so maybe you're gonna, Snoop so, so, so we'll you're gonna, see. You're gonna sub out JD Vance because he's getting too much shine. It's got to be the right guy, for the, and I'm the right guy. You got to get someone lame, you got to get like uh, like Michael Cooper is your running mate. I love my running mates, but I feel bad for anyone who's got to stand next to me. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, uh, yeah, again, um, thanks for listening. Uh, we got a big guest episode coming out soon. and Vote or die. Vote. Yeah, vote or die. Um, we're going to kill you if you don't vote we're not for gonna, me. Yeah, we're not going to do that, probably. It's implied. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, this has been a real freak off I appreciate it Yeah, I feel, I feel like a freak on a leash A freak off on a leash A freak off a leash This is like a, I love corn This, this is cool alt like a, <laughs> cool, I kind of like being <laughs> blurry Yeah, it's cool Am I blurry in it's real cool. life? What the heck? It's very cool You might be a blur That's a Mitch Hedberg joke Whoa we have a hive mind with one of the greats. Whoa. It looks cool. All right, folks. We will see you very soon. At the voting booth. At the at the voting. We'll, well, we'll see you on the podcast. Play the cool song again. We'll see you.